All right, Chris, first up is going to be Dwayne Rankin with the Arizona Republic. Yeah, Chris, uh, just curious, obviously back in OKC, what's that feel like? What's that been like? And just your your thoughts on that being back where you uh, obviously uh, had a great year last year with those guys. Yeah, uh, it's odd. I hadn't, uh, I hadn't been back since we left for the bubble. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I got a chance to see Shea last night. Um, I don't know. It was a... Uh, Definitely a special season last year. I'm, I'm happy to be back here, but actually kind of, uh, you know, mad at the same time because uh, the fans won't be here. You know, I think that was one of the biggest things that made uh, not only my first two years in the league, but last season special was the, the fans here in Oklahoma City. Quick follow. Uh, looking at the, the team this year and, with you having, you know, had such interaction and playing with with all the guys, who has grown the most? You feel from 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 game one to now? Uh, I don't know. I think we all grown uh, in our own ways all season long. Uh, maybe uh, Da though, maybe Da, and uh, I think that's why our team is playing the way that we're playing and why we're so good right now. You know, Da was probably a guy coming into the season, especially after the trade, not knowing what to expect. Um, and I think we sort of changed kind of maybe the way that he plays to, to a certain extent. And for him to ex accept that and to be the presence that he's been with us all season long uh, says a lot about him. Next, we'll go to Andrew Schlecht with The Athletic and then Cody Cunningham. Yeah, Chris, I'm just curious your thoughts on Lou Dort and kind of his journey um, and his specifically his offensive progression and what, what you thought of that. Um, man, Lou is for real, like my little brother, man. He, uh, I, I'm so happy to see how well he's playing. Uh, obviously I can remember last year, two way, you know, G league, this, that. And, um, you know, we got to the bubble. One thing about Lou, he's always going to play hard and he's going to play the right way. And, um, I think a lot of people remember that game seven performance he had last year, but we used to stay on him all the time. He always put the work in always put the work in and to see it all come together. Anybody who's been around Lou is not surprised. Next is Cody Cunningham with sons.com and then Christo Saltis. <clears throat> uh, kind of random question, but I was just wondering, looking back a few years, what do you remember about James Jones as a player? <laughs> uh, what do I remember about JJ? Um, <clears throat> JJ could shoot the life out of him. You know what I mean? He just always played the right way, spaced the court. I got him with a nice move one time back when I played in New Orleans. Um, but James just wasn't ever going to do anything to hurt you. I remember when he was in Miami and when he was uh, with Phoenix. You know, he was a guy that you you had to close out on and make him try to make him put the ball on the floor. And to follow up on that, when you were first traded here, just what were those initial conversations like with James? Like, you know, what did you guys discuss as far as the direction of this team? Um, I, don't, I don't know if we talked about the direction of the team. You know, it was just about um, getting to know the guys, getting settled in. Everything happened so fast. It was right before, um, <clears throat> wasn't long before we started camp and all that, maybe like a month before. Something like that. So it was, you know, let's get to it. Final two questions are Christos Saltis from Greece and Gina Mizell. Hello, Chris. Hope you are doing well. What did what kind of responsibility for you as a team is to have the best uh, record in the league to be in the top uh, top seed in the West and in uh, with ten less than ten games until the end of the regular season? What do you need to what do you want to improve for the playoffs? And we want to improve on a lot of stuff. Uh, one of the biggest things is probably uh, execution. You know, getting into the playoffs, uh, all the teams are going to know your sets. They're going to know what you like to run, and it's going to come down to um, execution and how, how well you can execute. And just getting better defensively and um, just, just building. You know, at this point of the season, you got different guys in and out of the lineup. So um, just trying to stay consistent. Final one is Gina Mizell with sons.com. 
Hey, Chris, I, I think it, this was during All-Star Weekend. You <clears throat> asked about, about bringing Phoenix back and just the season that you guys have been having. And you're like, hey, I've been in the league to remember when this team was in the playoffs every year and, and was one of the top teams in, in the NBA. So I'm just wondering when you think of the Suns in the playoffs, is there like a, a, a series, a, a game? Is there anything that kind of comes to mind just as, as a guy who's been in the league for so long and I know studies the game so, so, uh, so closely, I suppose? Uh, man, it's a lot. I remember a lot. Um, I mean, I watch Phoenix play all the time. Obviously, I used to play against Barbosa and Raja Bell and all these different guys, Amari Stoudemire and all that. Um, <clears throat> that San Antonio series, was uh was crazy that time when Steve got hit into the scores table and a couple guys stepped on the court and got suspended. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's been a lot of good series that I remember for Phoenix over the years. Do you feel a sense of personal pride in in helping get this team back to to a postseason berth and especially being being as high in the standings as, as you guys are going into the final couple weeks? Um, <clears throat> it's personal pride in everything that you do. You know, everything, especially in what we do in this league, is competition. You know, you go out and you try to win, uh, you know, every game that you play. You try to build for the playoffs. So uh, I don't think it's just personal pride. I think as a team, as a team, I think that's what we try to build all season long is that chemistry that, um, you know, we win together, we lose together. And, and that's the way it's been. Appreciate your time, Chris. No problem.